Welcome to my channel and guess what? Today we're going to be testing all new makeup. I have it all on. I'm wearing it all. Was it worth it? Is it worth the money? I guess you're going to have to keep watching to find out, but don't forget to like this video. Go ahead and leave a comment and maybe subscribe to the channel if you want to watch a couple more of my videos. But yes, I'm always getting my hands on the newest products. So we had a good like six or seven products we just tested out and I'm letting you guys know if it's worth the money. Don't forget to subscribe, keep on watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! What's up guys? As you can tell from the title, I'm going to be messing with all new makeup today. Makeup that has definitely gone viral all over social media um, and we're going to see if it's worth all the hype. So to get started, I'm just going to go ahead put a little hand sanitizer on before I start touching my face. And the first thing I want to do is kind of try to get these brows under control. So the first product I'm going to take is not necessarily new for being so popular not everyone has had a chance to actually try it and it is this the anastasia brow freeze which has literally had everybody in a serious chokehold so i'm gonna bend the spoolie just a little bit on the brush and i'm gonna go ahead and dip it into the product i'm just gonna brush my brows up and there's absolutely no product in my brows yet so i'm just gonna brush them up with a gel Okay, so for primer, I am going to take a primer that is new to me and pretty new itself. I feel like I haven't seen a lot of reviews on it really or seen anybody really use it or heard too many good or bad things about it. But it is the Refi and this is the foundation primer. It's like their roll-on foundation primer and it's the glow and sculpt primer. So basically you just roll this onto your skin and it deposits the product for you something about this bothers the heck out of me i don't know about having it touch my skin and then go back into the the whole packaging of it bothers me i think it's because i do have textured skin i feel like i don't know but for the sake of newness and the video i'm just gonna go ahead and roll it on not really sure how much to take so I am just gonna take this all over my face my nose forehead and put a little more on my cheeks I do like the way it feels and I like the feeling of the roll-on and just again this packaging like I'm just thinking of all the bacteria that's going back into the product and hopefully that's they made it in a way where that doesn't happen but we'll see okay so I feel like I have enough on and I'm just gonna take my hands and massage the product in to evenly distribute it and so far I do like the way that it feels it feels super light and moisturizing I do have sensitive skin as well and I feel like I'm not experiencing like any burning sensations like I have in the past with some primers so so far so good hopefully it holds on to my foundation and really gives me a glow I'm looking for because my skin has been dry very very dry like dry. I know you know pregnancy tings they're just sucking the life out of me okay so primers on i'm gonna be taking some brand new sponges these are not name brand sponges they're brand new they're so cute and this is what they look like our strawberries so so cute so I'm going to be taking these bad boys. Got them from $4.99. That is it. I feel like that's a steal for three sponges, especially because they look like strawberries. That's so cute. I am literally a sucker for anything cute. And I saw them and I had to have them. So I'll be taking this little guy. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And I'll be right back because I'm going to wet it. Nice and wet. And foundation today is going to be one that is fairly, fairly new and has been 
all over my top my tiktok at least it's been everywhere and it is the house labs by lady gaga foundation this is supposed to be like skincare in a foundation it gives you that glow it gives you luminosity youthful skin without being heavy and cakey and it's the triclone foundation so i'm just going to shake it because it says shake very well before use which i'm sure most foundations do and i'm going to take it on my forehead on my chin and then on my cheeks I like to focus it in the areas where I have the most redness and spots that I would like to cover up so I'm taking it everywhere really love the consistency of it it feels nice and thick without actually feeling thick if that makes sense it doesn't feel heavy at all but it feels like it's gonna cover everything that I want it to I'm just gonna take the blender and start it down here and work my way up coverage wise undeniably the coverage is there I feel like it has really really good coverage I would say it's more of a medium coverage than an actual full full coverage but I know if I put another little layer all over it, it'll definitely be full coverage and I feel like it does a really good job at going over texture and pores without enhancing anything because I have a lot of texture my pores are huge but you can't really tell because the foundation does lay down really, really nice. And I love the finish of it. Feels like I can breathe because my skin's been so dry. Like dry, scaly, patchy dry. And when I wear this, you would have no idea that my skin is just dehydrated as hell. You, would, you wouldn't even know because it's just so beautiful and luminous. So, for concealer is a concealer that just came out and I'm super excited to try it. I have not tried it yet, but all of the reviews have been so freaking good. And it is the Urban Decay Quickie Concealer. And this is the packaging for it. Super sleek, super cute. And I have not tried this, but I've been super excited to. Naked Quickie Concealer, up to 24-hour multi-use concealer, vegan formula, up to 24 hours long wear, waterproof and transfer resistant, which is good to know because your girl is a crier and I cry over everything. And yesterday I was wearing the Tarte C Concealer and Armani Foundation and it didn't hold up. But this I'm excited to try waterproof. Wow, that's cool. Waterproof, transfer resistant, quick fix, full coverage, retouch, conceal, brighten and blend, lightweight formula, blendable and non-greasy, real skin, matte finish. Oh, okay, so it's a skin-like matte finish. Vitamin E infused, all day, hydration, non commodogenic Okay, so it ain't gonna break us out. That's good because I don't need any more breakouts in my life or I will break down. Should we use the brush? I usually go with the blend. We're going to use the brush too. Okay. Take the cap off. It's huge. It's huge. I like it. Okay. Let's see what it looks like on. It's got a nice big doe foot wand. Love that. You can sell where I normally would and it's going to be right under my eye. Hopefully I got a good color. The shade range, I will say, went from this to yellow, yellow, and it just didn't work for me. So this was like the only option that looked like it would work for me. So we're going to just hope that it works. Okay, so I usually go in with a sponge. Sometimes I'll go in with a brush. Not really, though. Sponge is just faster for me. In with the brush, and this is what the brush looks like. It's cute. It's purple. Um, and I think I'm going to start with my forehead, just because I want to let the concealer under my eye sit for a second. And I will say, so far, I do like the color I got. Oh, the color is 20NN. That's the shade I'm in. And the brush is blending it out. Ooh, it's actually blending it out really good. Sometimes I get scared because I feel like brushes will pick up the product and like leave patches and streaks, but it's like, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's actually blending really good. And it is short and nice and dense, which is everything you'd want in a foundation concealer brush because 
feel like that gives you the most like airbrushed effect. I'm gonna blend it under my eye so we can really see how the brush works. The one thing I will say is it takes me forever to blend out with the brush, but that's probably just me because I'm just really, really slow. Um, but I don't know if you guys can tell, I feel like the brush kind of left a little buffer in dents. And I don't, I don't know. I like the finish so far, but I am just going to go over it with a sponge because it's just like, I'm not going to feel like it's perfect until I go over it with a sponge. Coverage wise, it is so cute. I feel like it really, it really covered everything. I have slight darkness under my eyes, which I do like to cover because I don't get to sleep too much. Um, but I feel like it covered really well. It's not accentuating any pores. It's not accentuating insect, any texture. I feel like it looks more luminous than it does a natural matte finish, which I really, really like. So when I read matte, I was like, mm. But it looks luminous, it looks dewy, and I'm totally here for it. The coverage, it's there. Transfer proof, we'll see. Water resistant, we shall see. But so far, I really like the way that it lays down on my skin. Okay. So for contour, you guys, I'm going to be taking this little stick right here from Milk Makeup. And this is their contour stick that just came out. It's so cute. And I got the shade stoked and it's their sculpt stick i'm really excited to try this so the little cap that's on it did steal my product it, it's it's stuck in there so this is what it looks like um but yeah that's okay we're just gonna we're just gonna use it so i usually put i usually put products like this on with a brush like picking it up or like I'll massage it into my finger but I think just to really try this and give it a go I'm gonna actually draw on my face with it so yeah let's do it Okay, so now that the contour is drawn on, I'm going to go in with the same one that I've been using and I'm going to start down here because that's where I started to draw it and I am just going to blend this baby out. Okay, first impressions. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. This, okay, out of everything I just tried, this is one of the things that I know I would repurchase. Wow. Okay. It blended out so easily. So easily. It took little to no effort to blend this stick out. And the color, I feel like it's giving me the exact amount of bronzed goddess that I want. It's beautiful. It's Again, the shade's stoked, and I'm just going to back up so you guys can see, like, it's not as bright on me, like, what the colors really look like. It's so cute. Oh, my gosh. I'm not even mad that the product got stuck in the cap, because this is just such a good, such a good contour stick. Wow. Wow. Okay. It literally brought all the color back into my face. I before I get into blush and all that other stuff, I'm going to set my um, face with some powder just really quick. Um, and the powder that I'm going to set it with, this baby is not new. She has been around, around town. And because of Riri and her beautiful performance, it is now, she is reborn. She is back. Of course, you guessed it, Miss Invisimat. The packaging I do love. It's like iridescent when the light shines on it. And this is what it looks like in the packaging. And I'm just going to be taking this right here, which is the brand new Sephora Puffs that Sephora came out with a couple weeks ago. They're $5. Five. Five dollars. And is it one of the best puffs I've ever used in my life? 
Yes, it is. Did I buy four of them? Yes, I did. Straight out of the box. Yes, I'm going to use it straight out of the box. I'm going to warm it up. Ah. I dip into Miss Invisimat because I'm going to set my face with a pressed powder before I do a loose powder. Why? I don't know. And I'm just going to go ahead and dot it mostly under my eye where we crease the most. Guess who we going to be testing out, oh, girl? Guess who? Mm-hmm. I'm still gonna test it out. I'm still gonna use it. I'm still gonna use it. I'm gonna do my eye makeup and then we're gonna test this blush out, broken or not. We're gonna test it and we're gonna see if it is worth the hype, baby, because it is $38. My lashes are on, so let's get to the good part. We're gonna be testing out this one size blush. It is the Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio, and this is the set called Attention Seeker. And the shades are Thirsty, Yes Sir, and Kisses Please. So, Thirsty is a cream, Yes Sir is a beautiful baby pink, and Kisses Please is a pink, sparkly, beautiful, shimmery, gorgeous, like, color. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I'm really sad that this is broken. I really want to cry about it, but, you know, the girls don't cry, so whatever, let's just get into it. I'll be taking this brand new Sephora brush and this is the makeup match blush brush so let's crack this bad boy open and get to blend in it's really really pigmented so far really pigmented gently pat it all over oh my god oh it's cute it's so cute ho, 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 ho. The cream is buildable, super pigmented, and it blended so beautifully. Wow. I love the way the cream looks by itself. I would I would leave it like this, but I have to test out all the colors. I have to see what they look like. So I'm going to take the blush brush, and I'm going to take it into the middle shade. It layered beautifully on top. I know sometimes creams and powders can fight, but it's like... Yes, I know I'm putting a lot because it's gorgeous. I just can't stop myself. Okay. Okay, I know I probably look like a clown, but it's okay because I'm just... Wow, I love it. Patrick. Wow. I... Okay. worth 38 bucks yes do i love it yes i do i would say the only thing i don't like about it is the fact that it was broken that's literally it that's i really love the way it looks on my skin i i love it and powder with the highlight in it is gorgeous it looks so good i can definitely see why it's sold out and it's been sold out since it dropped as soon as i hit store it sold out and i see why that was what i was most excited to try and it's so good what's next Ooh, lips okay let's do lips so i'm gonna be taking this refi lip sculpt lip liner and this is in the shade fawn oops where is it over here <laughs> i'm just gonna overline my top and bottom lip And the reason I chose this color was because I wanted to go more towards the burgundy and the browns because I feel like it would complement what we had done already. That's why I went in with that color. I also chose it because the Refi lip liners have the sealant, which keeps your lip liner on all freaking day long. And I've tried it a couple times and it really did work really well. I feel like 
my lip liner didn't go nowhere. And for lipstick on top, I'm going to be taking my Fave 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 lipstick right now. It is Urban Decay's Vice Lipstick in their cream style. And this is in the shade Oat Milk. It's literally been my entire obsession. Sadly, I don't take... I don't take the best precautions when it comes to kids, so my daughter did get her hands on it, and now the lid is gone. It's okay. I ordered a new one today. Should be here in a couple days, but let's just put what is left of her on. But that's what the lipstick looks like on top of the lip liner. It's in the shade Oat Milk. Literally my absolute fave right now it's just so gorgeous Alrighty, guys one last new product to try out and that is the new calaray surf proof setting spray and again shake well before you use it how to apply you must four to five pump six to eight inches from your face using over your makeup for a lasting finish and reuse throughout the day for a hydrating refresh and you can get refills on calorybeauty.com. It's a clean, hydrating, long wear setting spray. Um, yeah, and again, like I told you guys, I've been super, super dry. So anything that's going to hydrate me, I will take it. I'm going to spray this over my face. But I really love what the setting spray does to my makeup. I feel like it doesn't really change the finish of it. It doesn't really do anything crazy, but it does leave my skin feeling super refreshed and hydrated. And I feel like it doesn't feel as tight and dry as it did before. And I do love spraying it throughout the day because it really does give a nice little like refreshing like, ah, like my skin can breathe again type thing. And it's just so wonderful. Um, but yeah, you guys, that is all of the new products. What did we try? We tried the Refi Primer. We tried House Labs Foundation. We tried the Urban Decay Quickie Concealer. What else did we try? Ooh, the Milk Makeup Contour Stick. We tried the Invisimat, which is not new, but you know, she's back again. And we tried the One Size Blush and Calorie Setting Spray. But yeah, so break down on all these products. Yes or no? Yes. I believe this is $46 or $47. Is it worth it? Yes, it is. This is one of my new faves, House Labs by Lady Gaga Foundation. So freaking good. This face primer, is it worth it? I Hold on, let me look at my skin. I'm going to say yes. As of right now, yes, it's worth it. I The application, <sighs> I don't know about the packaging, but the product itself is so good. So good. Is it worth it? Yes, I would buy this. Quickie Concealer. Ooh, ooh, okay. Is this worth it? Coverage was so good. The product itself is so good. The brush, I could not... I couldn't use it every day personally, but the product itself, beautiful. I bet it looks gorgeous without foundation as well if you just like to put a little concealer on. I know I've said a lot of yeses, but yes, yes, I would buy this. I probably have a problem. It's okay. Invisimat. Is it really worth it? I feel like if you're an oily queen, yes, yes, it is worth it. It'll absorb those oils and leave you looking flat, matte, and perfect for us dry gals. Maybe. I don't know. It's cute. I have it. I, bu I bought it, obviously, so I give it a yes. One size blush. Yes, I love it. Setting spray. It was hit. Yes, yes, yes. I actually... I'm obsessed with it because it feels so darn good. Yeah, that is a full face of all new products, you guys. I hope you guys like this video. That's the way everything looks, honestly. The blush, the foundation, it all works so well together. Oh, that milk contour stick. Yes, a million times. Yes, it was so good. I will definitely rebuy that. I feel like everything looks really, really good. I'm surprised because I didn't think I was going to love everything, but I think I love everything, so... Okay, I just wanted to give you guys like a more close-up, flash-on version of this makeup so you can really see 
what everything looks like in the light. This is what it looks like, you guys. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.